everybody and welcome to a new vlog where I'm submerged in my scarf which is apparently a reoccurring theme. Can you pull yourself together please? So today's video we are going on a little adventure. Now let me tell you I have been planning this video for a very long time and I've always wanted to film it and then some days I, I'm just like oh you know what I'm just gonna film it today and it just comes over me and I have to film it like th that very day. An adventure in London to look for the best vegan cupcakes. Now obviously you all know I'm dairy free. Yes of course we know you say it in literally every video. And it means that it's quite hard to find like best products that are good so I'm gonna go and see what the best vegan cupcakes are because there are so many now and I'm gonna <laughs> hello and we're gonna do like a few basic ones a few more niche ones and go and explore the vegan cupcake places of London let's go it's absolutely freezing so I'm a bit concerned peace see you on the road. Get the road, Jack. And don't you come back. you you would i wonder if they've got a vegan one do. look at that oh my word I mean, this looks <gasps> like chocolate cinnamon cake wow oh, he's gone down hasn't he nutella. yeah they're nutella de la chuk. okay we've been to hummy bird dolce de leche and now we are going to gales i think they might have something but i'm not entirely sure to go to quite a basic one. I feel like hummingbird is cost basic, but Lola's cupcakes is like commercial, very commercial basic. Because I've heard of it. And then we're going to go to two more on the list. So let's go to Lola's. Although I have had one of them before and it's pay. Okay, we've actually just stumbled across a hundred percent vegan coffee and dessert shop with like donuts and stuff. So we're going to see what cupcakes they have. But let's go. <laughs> They had a chocolate raspberry and a chocolate flavour, but we've just got vanilla because we're trying to keep it as simple as we can. Crumbs and Dwellies did only have one option, whereas the other places have had like three. And well, that, that shop was everything. The donuts did look mighty fine. They might actually overtake donut time. Mm. In, oh, you don't think? Well, no, I mean, they looked good, but like there it's was no one there. in there. Yeah, whereas, look, whenever I go to donut you. time, there's people there. Okay, so we are three minutes away from Lola's Cupcake. I flipping love, I love London. Lots of choice, don't they? Yeah, they've got loads. Okay, here we are in Brixton. Ready to actually go to Miss Cupcake now. Um, it's after one o'clock. Yeah, seeing as it's after one. Now I know that everything there is vegan. So I'm thinking of trying a new flavour. Okay, 
Okay, so here are all of the cakes in their packaging. I'm not sure how they have made it home. That could be a test for how their packaging is. So the first place we went to is obviously Crumbs and Doilies. Oh, she's not looking so good. But, oh bless her. Okay, this is what she looks like. There clearly is a lot of grease in these cakes because there is a lot of seepage from the oil there. Okay, then up next we went to Hummingbird Bakery. Oh, that's sad. Oh no. I really thought these the packaging would hold them, but... Oh, look at this one! This one's done really well. Although there looks like there's some sort of red thing in there, which is a bit disconcerting considering I just got a vanilla. The Lola's cupcake. They didn't have any plain vanilla, so I just got a pistachio and cherry. <gasps> oh, that one looks amazing. That one's really held up well. Now, I actually bought two in this cupcake because I really couldn't pick. I obviously wanted to get the normal vanilla one, but then I saw this chocolate peanut butter one and I just had to get it. Oh, she's even sellotaped it. Also, shout out to Hattie at Miss Cupcake. She was so wonderful. Thanks. She's been around since 10,000 subs. What a wonderful human. Love you loads. Oh, it's fallen over as well. But to be fair, they're looking, they're looking pretty good in there. This is from Miss Cupcakes, which is the first ever vegan cupcake shop. And then we have the chocolate peanut butter, whose icing has literally just fallen off of the top. Raspberry one from Crumbs and Doilies. Obviously, she's squished there. This is the Hummingbird one, which was very, very squished. This is the vanilla one from YOLO Vegan Bakery. Then we have the Lola's Cupcake. Then we have Miss Cupcakes, which actually every, I would say the most uniform cakes out of all of the shops was Miss Cupcakes. I'm also gonna show you the chocolate peanut butter one. So here is the chocolate peanut butter one, in case you wanted to know. Obviously, the first one we're gonna go for is the Crumbs and Doilies one because that's what we got first. Now we're going to rate overall experience. Bang! How are you? Do you want some cup? Oh, should we do a cat cupcake test and see which one's the best one? What do you think? Mm, I love you so much. The first humble cupcake was crumbs and doilies. They had loads of really good looking ones but only one vegan option which is a little bit upsetting. I think that maybe two, I don't know. This is a raspberry ripple. Raspberry bits in it by the looks of things. Sniff test. Oh, to be fair, this one's actually quite light. Mm, that's beautiful. That raspberry. I could eat that whole thing right now, but I must carry it. That is going to be marked very high. But obviously I can't give it any comments yet because I have nothing to compare it to. So the next one we're going to go for is Hummingbird Bakery. That is a taste, Jess, that Crumbs and Doilies raspberry one. Uh, I, I think it's going to be my favourite and I've only had one. It seems to make such a statement. Right? I know. I think the Hummingbird Bakery is literally like half icing. That is too much icing, in my opinion. But let's give it a go. Oh! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it's a good cupcake. You wouldn't know it was vegan. Too much icing. Did you like the cupcake you can't even taste? It was it's literally just icing. Good texture. It wasn't actually dry. I thought it would be really dry, but it wasn't. And then up next, we're going to go for YOLO's. It was called YOLO, wasn't it? I thought I just got vanilla, but there's a little bit of cheeky raspberry in there. Is that the all vegan one that we went yeah. to? Yeah. Again, a little less icing. That one is so different. It's just got a very unique texture, but it's not a bad thing, but it's not necessarily my favorite as of yet. But the icing ratio on that was way better. We moved to Lola's Cupcakes, which had a l three vegan options or four? Oh. Which is quite a lot, and Hummingbird also had four. Quite a good size compared to the other ones. This is a nice, this, and with the amount of pistachios, that's, pistachios are a really expensive product. Now obviously it is chocolate, so it does change the internal structure a little. Okay, here goes. Mm. Don't even ask me what that noise was. I'm horrified they even came out of my mouth. There are so many noises coming from my mouth. Flavour, great. Icing ratio, good. But the cake itself is a little bit dry. But chocolate cakes can be dry because cocoa powder is such a thirsty ingredient. That's one thing that was drummed into me at uni. Cocoa powder is a thirsty ingredient. So it needs a lot of liquid. And that's why sometimes chocolate cake can be a bit dry. I really like the icing and the pistachios though. Good texture there. Now the last one we went to is obviously Miss Cupcakes which we have here. Here we go. Hang on, there's a flavour in there. Oh, so many noises. There's a flavour in there that reminds me of something, but it's not a normal cupcake flavour. I'm just gonna try the chocolate peanut butter. Jessie also got an Oreo brownie from here and thought it was sublime. 
Yeah, the cookie dough one, they had a cookie dough one as well. Mm, that is good. Very rich, a strong peanut flavor and a better chocolate texture than the Lola's Cupcake one. Now, we're gonna do the three elements. Atmosphere, like the store, the process of buying. We've got flavor and then we've got texture. And then we've got overall. So overall winner. Yes, what do you think it's going to be? In your opinion. In my opinion. I think you like the fact that they were all vegan. I think with between them two. I think the overall winner is crumbs and doilies. It's really, really good. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Atmosphere and experience of the shop. That's a hard one. I actually think we had quite a good experience in every shop. I think the first one. Two girls. Crumbs and doilies again. Yeah, they were quite, it's like donut time. Jesse it's liked like, crumbs and doilies. It's a nice presence. It's close. It is close. But I think... They were all... Yeah, they all had like... Their I, couldn't, I actually don't think I could pick for atmosphere because I did enjoy them all. Obviously, we had the lovely experience of Hattie in Miss Cupcake, so it was a bit different because we had Hattie serving us, who was an absolute gem. So shout out to Hattie. Flavour have to be Lola's Cupcakes and then the peanut chocolate one from here. Duh. You rated Lola's the best. Really? Oh, that's unfair. That is unfair. Uh, all the plain vanilla. You can't do that. And in a world of chocolate cherry pistachio, like that's all Chocolate just wins hands down against most things. I didn't even have a load of cupcakes vanilla flavour, so they mean. can't even you, be you in there. Oh, that's hard then. That's unlawful. They're, they're too different. And again, it's out of Miss Cupcakes and Crumbs and Doilies. Crumbs and Doilies for me has just been an overall winner. Really, really enjoyed it. Come try this Crumbs and Doilies. I think I know what one I like the most. Chocolate peanut butter. Yeah. Wait, I don't know if I'm just having it up too much, Jess. Oh, it's a nice cake. I mean, it's a nice cake. And it That's just, more my cup of tea. I don't know, it's a bit dry, Jess. I mean, a little dry, but flavour is good. Mm. Yeah, dry. Definitely a little bit dry. But the flavour is great. Mm. You could tell if that was like really fresh off the and bread. I like the topping. Yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this. What is your fave cupcake? I've done this for donuts and now I've done this for cupcakes. So what should we try next? Crisps. Or is it crisp bagels. cafe in London? Bagels as well. Let's do bagels. He's done bagels. No, I tried a rainbow bagel. Oh, yeah. <gasps> bagels. Peace out. Thanks for watching. I really did enjoy that crumbs and doilies one.